What is up, guys? It's me, Red. We're back with some more to become human. Looks like we're going to talk to Amanda. Again. Wait, th is this in my brain or in a real place? Because this honestly looks fabricated. Looks cool, but fabricated. Also, oh, all right, it's an umbrella. I'm like, why is he carrying a cane? Huh. Oh, there she is. Yep, this feels like a computer program. Everything's too symmetrical. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Oh, fuck you. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? Signs on the walls. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other what? symbols. Like the other no. deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. Sorry about that. What else? A diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. I left her in the rain. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. Lady, I chill. I disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Huh. Is this where I think it is? Thank you for traveling with Detroit Taxi. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Alright. Where are we? Ink is my friend. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Let's find him. First off, boys gotta do a scan. Never know what you're gonna find. Let's go to the car. Oh. Alright, I'm looking at the car. So, is this Anderson's house? I think it is. Oh. That's his dog all right let's try knocking on the door if not we'll go through the back anything else I missed oh that covers it all right lieutenant Anderson let's give it a couple seconds Oh my god, Connor! My money is on him being drunk. 
All right, that was a weird camera transition. All right. The grills. All right. Oh my God. Lieutenant Anderson. Connor, break through the window. Break through the window, buddy. <laughs> Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Oh my god, Hank. Wait a second. He's unconscious. Oh my god, why does he have his gun? Oh my god. Oh hell no, no! He was not. Please tell me he pussied out. I think he was too drunk to do it. Alright, threw up. It's barf. Alright, a slight arrhythmia. Alright. His breath is gonna stink. Lieutenant! <laughs> oh my god, Connor. Wake up, Lieutenant. What? It's me, Connor. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Because this bromance needs to live. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, imagine having to do this. <laughs> oh my god. Sumo! Attack! <laughs> <laughs> Attack! <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Hank. Aren't you good? I'm not grumpy. Doing? I don't like you. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. <laughs> you put it on hot, you idiot! What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. Oh my god, Connor. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> I'm yours? You just leave me alone. Uh, solution. You seem to have personal issues. Oh my god, Connor. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. Oh no. No 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 no. Do not die on me. Tease. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Oh god. They still have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Oh my god, Connor, you savage man! Alright, bring Hank some clean clothes. Nope, can't go through there. Dang it. Alright. Anything to scan. Alright, never mind. Can only bring him clothes. Oh darn! What do you want to wear? Yo, hippie. Strippy? Oh, God, no. Uh, let's go with Streaky.
Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> Okay, did I need to know that? ...issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin had... ...has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Autumn Blues. ...the war draws closer every day. And close jazz. I love jazz too. All right, I think this one's a given. He has depression. Question. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I can last? Must be the last before I found out. Good thing too. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. All right. Also, oh, this one's also given. Poor eating habits. We got, we got burgers. We got bread. We got whatever that is. Oh my god. Sumo. Sumo! I won't be long. Sumo's so cute! I love you, Sumo! Also, you have a leak in your house. I saw it in the back. Bye, Sumo! Russian roulette. What else could I have learned about him? Left for Eden Club. Let's see. So that is going to be important later on. Hmm. Distant attitude. Zero percent. Oh. All right, well, let's keep going. Up. Oh, back with Marcus. There's North. There's Simon, Josh, Marcus. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Let's see. North. 
Watch out. All right, we were supposed to go. All right. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Uh oh, buttons. Whenever we need buttons, it never works out well for me. Is she? Just follow Simon. Marcus, that way. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. I got another jump incoming. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. All right, then what's the plan, Marcus? Reconstruct. All right, let's go. Would be spotted. So what if? Figured. All right, then there we go. There we go. All right, as long as they don't screw this up, we'll be good. What button do I need? Alright, never mind. Smash, 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 smash! You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Aw, oh, thanks, baby. Let's get married. Open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. All right, what do we got? Blue blood. Ah, oh, shit. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine. Where is it this time? All right, ah. Uh... Grab and hide. John! I need your help. John! Ah. Uh...
was I supposed to do, Josh? I panicked. Let's finish up and get out of here. Check the bigger guys for hearts. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Alright, um, I promise I will try and make it up to you, Josh. Check the bigger crate. Alright, that's probably gonna have limbs and body parts. Please don't make a mess. Androids? AP 700s. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? Free them. So it is like a virus. Resentful. And that's all we can carry. Let's go. All right, let's hope I can, can escape. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. Yes, it's a can. risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. I said we bring him back. Let's bring him back. They come with us. Fuck you, North. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. The key. Where is this key? On his dead body. Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Revolutions require risk. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. All right, just know that if I screw this up, I will reset it. Wait a second, I have an idea. Can I lose his body? Dang, I can't lose the guy's body. Wearing like guards. It. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling his hat. Come on, man. Come on. There's two. There you go. You. No, ah. ah. nah, hell no. Nah. 
Ah. <laughs> no! That was easy, and no one died. Did you get it? <sighs> nice. I'm surprised I have access to it. Think only. Get in. All right, never mind. I'll finish that later. <sighs> so keys are iPods now. All right. Question is, how are we going to get this to Jericho? And they're knocked out. Easy as pie. Who knows, we probably would have gone caught. My people! I've returned! Truckload. We stole a whole truck! We load. got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Bitch, you know it. Jericho, my army. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. Unless we make it come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! I didn't want to kill him. But for change to happen, blood must be spilt. If it necessary, that blood spilt was worth it. See how easier it was just by choosing to accept the challenge of going to the control room and getting the key. We can't, look, these two would have gone wrong. We probably would have been caught. 67 people also stole a chuck full of parts. Kudos to them. Huh. So two choices could have resulted in spilling blood. Fine with me. Alright guys, that was it for this part of Detroit Become Human. If you like this video at any point in time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend, get my name out there. We are currently at 50 subs. I would like to get us to 75 by the end of the year. I know that's a big goal, seeing as hardly any of you watch my videos, but it would mean a lot to me if we could. So please subscribe, get my name out there, share this video with your friends, and any other videos. We'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.